Hey everyone, we are here today because we are going to be headed out on the boat. But before I do that, um, you know, I found that my tackle box with all my hooks and jigs was broken at the bottom. So I was really needing to reorganize this and I realized now that it is all organized and ready to go, um, I was really, really sad at the idea of putting it in my old tackle box. So the other great thing is I'm here to switch to a new one. So this is really an exciting moment. Um, you know, I love my old tackle box, or I thought that I did, um, but it's really, really getting worn. Um, it's starting to rip up, and quite frankly, I'm really sick of having to store all of my jig boxes the way that many of these cases traditionally do. Um, so we are here with a Magnum Top Shelf Lakewood case, um, and this thing really is awesome. Um, I encourage you to go and check one out if you haven't. Um, super durable cases with a lot of great features, so we're going to highlight a few of them for you. Um, so first of all, I'm here talking about the storage of these cases. And we can see right inside, we have a whole bunch of shelves in here. So what I'm gonna be able to do is take all of my cases from inside and I'm gonna be able to put them in a horizontal storage. What that means is my jig box that I just reorganized is gonna sit exactly the way that I just left it even when I get it out onto the boat. Um, some really neat features about this does come with a shoulder strap if you need that um, because I keep it in my boat most often I find that I don't use that. The D-rings on the sides certainly are where that clips but if you're the kind of person who puts this on a trailer, in a truck, whatever, if you need to tie that down um, that's what's going to work for that. A few other features. One of the things you just noticed is even though this is a square case um, the zippers all work really easily, so a lot of times people get really nervous about, you know, having to zip around corners, but again, that's really, really smooth. Up at the top, we have some, you know, foam, and there's some pre-made slits in it, so you can use this for all kinds of spoons or whatever you want to put up here, jigging wraps. There's other cases here that are going to be really awesome options for some of your tackle options, but again, this is a really unique feature that you don't always see. If this is not something that you're going to use, which personally I might not, you can take that out and have a big kind of top shelf here, which is awesome. Um, also does come with this piece to use it as a divider. So really a versatile tool for whatever way you want to use this as. Um, two really big pockets on the sides, so we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but really, I'm imagining that this is all going to transition over pretty smooth and pretty easily. So let's see how this goes. even have room for one more. The cool thing about that is right here behind the box actually, um, I have two cases that I was actually keeping loose in the boat because they were not fitting in my old tackle box. Um, so I now have room for that, which is awesome. Um, I also have this case for all my spinner baits and the nice thing is that they kind of hang in there. Um, that really displays them nice, but it also is going to fit in one of those side pockets. So I've already fit two more tackle boxes than I previously had. Um, a few other things. Let's see what I got here. We can move it on over. Um, a bunch of Widowmaker jig boxes. I'm going to keep that in the top. Um, today we're going to go for walleye. Usually I'm a pan fisherman, so keeping that right at hand is going to be awesome. I have some line. And a whole bunch of hook removers, tools, a pocket knife, stuff like that. Um, some of that might go into my reindeer bibs. Some of that might not, so we'll see. Otherwise, using that as a shelf for now. I have a few rogue baits um, and jigs that need to get put away. So let's put these here as well so I remember to do that. The other things I have in here, kind of an extra lanyard, um, a map, a stringer. I don't often use these things, but you know, you never know when you need them. So let's put them over in this side here.
That side's empty. Ooh. All kinds of bobbers and bobber stops. Um, you know, all of this really can be a lot of loose stuff. I opt to keep them in bags. That's really easy for me. Um, so, you know, being able to store them in a side pocket like this will still be convenient. Um, <laughs> I also keep a bag of all of my fishing licenses. Um, this is Josh's, this is hunting, and honestly, I don't take the old ones out, which is why it's so thick. So I sh probably should, but that's all here. A random extra pair of sunglasses. We'll throw it on the other side. I have like a fishing log and some paper, just because you never know if you need to write a note on your car or something if you're fishing. Um, but, oops, one more thing. Um, this whole tackle box is now empty, um, and I'm kind of a little bit glad to be done with it. Um, we have our towel here. We can throw that inside. Um, but I'm finding that everything has fit really, really well, um, really, really smooth. And again, is going to just be great to take with us. So again, a Magnum top shelf case. Check that out. You know, a lifetime case for lifetime adventures. So I'm really excited to go and use this today and put it to the test.